Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me, Brian, and I am here in Nome, Alaska. And I'm here because I got a new job on the Wild Ranger, which is right here. So this is the one that you see on uh, TV. It's called the Gold Chip Wild Ranger. Yeah, I'll be diving on this bad boy. So I'll give you a tour of it in a second, but here's the harbor that we're at. And straight across the way right there, that's Emily Rydell's uh, dredge. And right over there is, that's a Christine Rose. And the other dredges are out, uh, probably out in the, in the sea there dredging. But uh, most of those over there, those are dredges. The one with the flag behind this barge, that's a famous dredge. I forget the name of it now, but it's got a really uh, big um, crawler. I guess it goes pretty deep. And right here behind us, this is uh, the New Horizons. This one's um, a 14 inch dredge and it's on jacks. And you see the hydraulic arm right there. And then going into the water, there's a, there's a 14 inch hose. So that arm kind of controls the hose, sends it down and they have a diver down there just to get rocks off the nozzle and stuff. That's a really cool dredge. I got a tour of that thing and uh, they're almost ready to go out. They've been working on it for a couple of years and they're getting closer to go out. So right here, this is uh, the Nome Beach. This is where everyone uh, uh, does all the beach mining. Well, they do it here and then uh, on the other side, uh, down by where all those tanks are on the left there, there's uh, the other area where a lot of people do some uh, beach mining. But uh, we'll go out later, and right out here I could just take a pin and probably get, I don't know, 50, 100 colors. It's pretty crazy. But uh, Vernon's claim is right out here. Uh, that's where we're going to be dredging. And there is a lot of gold right out here. There's not too many guys in the water today because uh, it's, it's really windy out. So the seas are picking up and, you know, everyone kind of came in. So yeah, well, I'll take you down into uh, the Wild Ranger and we'll take a quick little tour. There we go, let's hop aboard. This plank right here we just made the other day, so I got the help of that. Let's see, we'll start in the front here. So obviously right here, captain's chair, got the controls. They're all covered up now, but that's where the captain sits. Uh, I helped install this the other day. This is brand new. This is uh, an anchor winch. So instead of doing it by hand, just press a button and pulls up the anchor for us. And here we go, here's the dredge nozzle. This one is uh, an eight inch. And you know, that's a nice, Nice overall, good size, not too big, not too small. Um, you know, the eight inch is pretty good. Vernon said he tried the 10 inch before and uh, he gets just as much gold with the eight inch um, compared to the 10. So right now it's hooked up for uh, eight inch. Let's see, the dredge hose goes to the side here. And the dredge hose is held up by all these little, uh, these little crank winches. We got, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five of them holding this whole system up. Yeah, the hose goes down there to the jet, to the flare, and the box. And the box actually swings out when we're using it. So it's kind of, uh, it, it's off, off to the side there. We'll go check that out. But yeah, this is the front of the boat. Um, let's see, right on top here. Not much going on here, just kind of hangout area. And then um, we got the dinghy right here. And here's how we get inside. And we'll go check out the dredge first. Here's the door to the dredge. So here we go, here's a close up of the dredge. We just installed some new matting, but uh, we still have some time on the back of the box. We didn't clean out yet. Um, just the top of the box we cleaned out just to put some new miner's moss in. We got some, uh, some new riffles we we're putting in. We're just waiting on that. Uh, well, it's a little tight coming off here, but uh, this is the foot valve coming uh, right here. There's a hole underneath that uh, piece of plywood that the foot valve goes down in. And there's the motor, the hot water system, the air. Uh, this is the mass that we use. And this thing is freaking heavy with all the stuff it has on it. I mean, look at this umbilical cord. Look at all the stuff on there. So when you're wearing the mask, I mean, it's so heavy, it kind of twists the mask, you know, because all that stuff on there. But uh, yeah, we got a big light there. We got a camera right there, and new this year, we got cameras on the inside, on the, the right and the left over there. So when you're diving down, there's like a, a light in your face, it's kind of annoying, but yeah, those are the mask. We all use the same mask because uh, there's all the stuff on here and it would be too hard to switch it in and out with um, everyone's different masks, so we just use this one uh, basic mask for everyone. Uh, yeah, so the dredge box, pretty, pretty basic dredge box. Like I said, these riffles are coming out of uh, this system. They, they have a new screen system that goes on there. We just didn't put it in yet. 
Uh, this is a over and under sluice box. So you got one sluice box on the top and then you got a, a second uh, sluice box down below where all the fines go. So all the fine gold will pass through the screen here and go on the second box and the first one, the bigger stuff should go through. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. There's an air pump on that motor and then there's another backup air pump on, on up top there. If we need, uh, if something happens to this, we got air right away all set up and set up into the system. We could just turn that one back on. Then inside we have an electric air pump for an emergency too. So uh, there's like three ways to get air. And let's see, this, uh, this one pumps air. This little hose right here um, is like a secondary air line. So just in case you have an emergency, this, you'll have air coming out of here. And this is the hot water and then the air and the lights and the cameras all come through all that. So yeah, that's pretty much up. That's pretty much everything outside here. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at the rest of the, the ship. So inside here, this is all storage that used to be a bathroom, but we don't have one anymore. Uh, we got a microwave, we got a fridge that doesn't work, we just use a cooler full of ice. This right here, this is a diesel heater, so it can stay nice and warm. Uh, this is all we really have for a stove, make coffee in the morning. Uh, let's see, just basic stuff, nothing special. Uh, go over here, here's the comms. So this is the, the box that we use um, to talk to the diver. You just push this button and you can talk right down, down to the diver and the diver can talk back to you. And right here is the camera that Vern could see. So whatever the diver's seeing is on this camera and it transfers to the TV here. So you got a bit bigger screen. So whatever the diver's seeing, um, you can see right here on the TV. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the emergency air. Also, this tank fills up with the system. So when the system's going, this is another reserve. And if there's an emergency, you can just uh, hit this and fill it back up. So, you know, just kind of redundant. And there's another, another one for backup. So there's two emergency air <laughs> electric ones at least uh, just some shelving this is where I stay this is my bed so this is my section here I got my bed and my little area I got a couple suitcases it's kind of messy so yeah the only thing that kind of sucks is here in Alaska when I go to bed it looks like this at midnight it's like bright like noontime <laughs> it looks like noontime at midnight so it kind of sucks uh, this is my day where I go diving, just hang all my stuff here, let it dry. Uh, I got my computer, um, just some some storage here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the inside. Of the oh, there's another section that way for. Um, there's a couple bunks up there. One of the other divers is up there now, so we'll leave him alone. For power, this is all we got. We got a generator here, another uh, heavy-duty generator to run the microwave, and then. Uh, Got the rear anchor and the two motors. That's pretty much it. And that just goes back up top. So that's it. That completes a tour of the Wild Ranger. And this is where I'll be for another, uh, I don't know, a few weeks or a month or two until the season ends. Unless I get fired or kicked off or <laughs> go home. We'll see. You know, so far it's been really cool. Been enjoying it. Um, there's lots of gold out there. Lots of places to dredge. It's, uh, it's been a blast so far. And uh, hopefully I'll be here for a while longer and see how it goes. So, thanks for watching.